Hi, this is Rajendran here from Market Calls, and in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about a very interesting uh, concept called a relative rotational uh, graph. Uh, it is also called as an RRG graph. So, RRG graph. Uh, I'll take you to the stock charts website where you can uh, see the RRG graph. Of course, I mean uh, this is a uh, relative study as well as a uh, relative momentum study. And RRG graph, I'll give you some uh, brief overview about what it is all about. RRG graph is a uh, visualization tool uh, to study or analyze trends in uh, relative strength of multiple securities against uh, uh, normal uh, benchmark stocks, uh, benchmark index like uh, S&P 500. And uh, RRG is uh, invented by Mr. Julius D. Kempener of RRG Research. He invented somewhere uh, around 2004-2005 during that time, and uh, it is nothing but an uh, uh, it is nothing but an uh, charts plotted on a uh, standard scatter plot canvas. So if you look into the charts, you can see four quadrants. So each quadrants are color coded. You can see the um, a leading uh, quadrant and then uh, weakening quadrant the lagging quadrant and the improving quadrant so it is color coded so the leading quadrant is shown as an uh, green color and the weakening quadrant is shown as an yellow color and the lagging quadrant is uh, mentioned as an uh, red color and the improving quadrant is mentioned as an um, blue color so the it has the x and y axis are generally the proprietary uh, uh, proprietary uh, axis. I mean, uh, it, it it contains uh, two input parameters. One is JDK RS ratio and uh, JDK RS momentum. So basically, what uh, they are trying to plot is they are trying to plot an uh, relative strength ratio versus the relative momentum uh, strength. So uh, using this study, one can understand. Um, one can correlate between uh, the relative strength and the relative momentum and uh, another good thing is I mean uh, this is a uh, proprietary study so not uh, it is not available uh, you cannot find it in most of the common uh, technical analysis softwares but predominantly it is available in uh, softwares like stock charts um, Bloomberg and uh, MAV7 I mean market uh, analyst seven uh, terminals so and uh, another thing is so I'll, I'll i'm just going to give you a demo uh, in this demo uh, uh, we'll be trying to compare um, three indices uh, let, let's say like uh, uh, randomly i'm just selecting uh, uh, nifty and another one is international gold comic gold and uh, wtic uh, the crude uh, with respect to the benchmark index S&P 500 right so I'll tell you while running an uh, animation uh, you'll come to know uh, what uh, how to study the relative strength and uh, how to pick stocks uh, based upon the benchmark indices how to study a whole universe whole pack of stocks uh, how to uh, study the stock momentum and uh, the relative strength uh, we, uh, this particular visualization tool doesn't talks about relative perform performance but it talks more on uh, relative strength right so what I'm trying to do now I'm just going to so I'm just picking uh, I'm just going to animate for the last one year on the uh, daily time frame right, I'm just picking, I'm pressing on the update button I'll zoom a little bit so that it is visible to you okay cool so what I'm going to do now I'm just clicking over the animate so uh, before going to animating this so you can uh, find uh, the three instruments gold nifty and uh, crude which we are going to compare uh, with the uh, S&P 500 so you can see uh, the tail is following in yellow color and the tail is following in the in the red color so this essentially means how the stock is performing uh, in the last 10 uh, days 
So this tail length is variable uh, parameter. We can adjust the parameters here so that you can see it in real time. Like the tails get uh, adding if I'm uh, increasing the length of the uh, days. I'm just I'll keep it as 10 here so that always the tail represents the path how it has traveled in the last 10 days. So how the relative performance is how the relative performance is changing and the momentum how the momentum is changing in the last uh, 10 days right so if i try to animate you can see uh, the uh, re, the stock changes from one quadrant to another quadrant another quadrant to another quadrant in a circular fashion uh, so with this we can identify whether uh, the stock is in the leading mode or uh, weakening mode uh, not only that but uh, relatively we can uh, study the momentum of the stock as well uh, whether it is if it is weakening how uh, what is the momentum in a particular stock so uh, if you take the recent example the gold is in the lagging quadrant and the momentum is also really huge the momentum is very huge so it means like i mean uh, it is com uh, compared to s p 500 uh, the gold is relatively weak i mean the relatively lagging and uh, the momentum is huge on the negative side right and uh, if you look into the WTIC the crude uh, for the last nine days it was in the leading quadrant and very recently it entered into the uh, weakening quadrant so it has to pass through the cycle from leading to weakening from weakening to lagging and from lagging to improving and once again back to the leading quadrant this is how this is how the uh, study we want to the study interprets I mean let's see let, let's try to do an uh, animation and uh, let's see how uh, how the three instruments performed in the last one year so it shows a uh, little visualization I'm just clicking over the animation button so that you can see uh, how it is performing with rel relative to SPX I mean S&P 500 clicking on the animation button so you can see like I mean uh, how the last uh, 10 days of trend is performing you can see it's always the the, uh, the curves are getting rotated the instruments are getting rotated and it's moving from one quadrant to another quadrant you can see the gold is uh, moving from weakening to uh, lagging from lagging to um, improving you can see it is keep on rotating uh, in the four quadrants in a cyclic fashion So with this study one can uh, by uh, choosing a pack of stocks and uh, we can compare it with the benchmark index and uh, we can uh, try to understand uh, which stage the stock is in right so now uh, instead of uh, uh, three I'll, I'll try to add a few more i'll, I'll try to add a nikkei a nikkei index and uh, i'll add a hang Seng. Let's see how it happens now. Okay. So now I added, uh, so we have currently five instruments now. And I'm just pressing on the animate button. So this is uh, once again for the last one year of uh, data. So you can see it's curling and uh, swirling around uh, the four quadrants. It's trying to touch all the four quadrants in a circular fashion. You can see now all the packs are in moving from uh, uh, green to uh, yellow and then to red. Interesting study, right? So uh, currently uh, the stock charts uh, only it is available for the subscribed uh, members uh, however you can test it and uh, uh, they are also providing a uh, free chart section where you can have an, uh, a limited set of symbols you can you can try out with limited set of symbols however if you want to uh, try out with a whole bunch of symbols you need a, a little subscription uh, to try this kind of stuff but currently it is not supporting Indian markets but you can try out with Indian indexes and world indices. Uh, and uh, predominantly with uh, US stocks and ETFs right so hope uh, this one had give you given you an uh, uh, interesting insights on uh, relative rotational graphs 
next time we'll try to catch up with an uh, even more interesting uh, concepts i'm signing from market calls till then bye bye